Today we're, work, we're going to be working with uh, if-then statements uh, and trying to overcome the issue of the uh, case sensitiveness of the user input. Um, so I'm sure there's more than one way to do this, but this is the way that I'm coming up with. So if we check in the script that we've been running, uh, this is what we did in our last tutorial, and we're checking the we're asking the user to input their name, and then we're checking to see if that name equals Chris or Jen. Uh, but our issue is, what if I type Chris with a lowercase k or Jen with a lowercase j? It's not going to recognize it. Oh, and by the way, I really should have quotations around this. It's one of those things that's not necessary, as you saw it worked in the last tutorial, but it's a good idea to have them there, especially in case you have some sort of special character or space. It will help prevent mistakes later on. Um, but what we're going to do here is when we're checking the value, we're going to either make uh, what we're checking against all uppercase or all lowercase. So in this case, I'll say uh, Chris, and here I'll say Jen. And so what we're going to do is, well, let me well, I'll show you again. We'll run our script here. And if I type in Chris with lowercase k in this case, because we just changed it, it says, hey, buddy. But if we run the same thing, and I type Chris with a capital K, it says, I don't know you. So going back into our script here, if you watched a few tutorials back, we learned that we can change the representation of the ve of name without changing the value of it by doing this, um, comma, comma. And that should take the variable of name and redisplay it, or in this case, recheck it as lowercase. So what we're doing is we're taking the variable that we're getting from the user, which is their name, and instead of just checking that variable, we're going to say check that variable as all lowercase. And then what we're doing that is instead of dollar sign and the variable name, in this case name, we're going to say dollar sign squiggly braces. And inside that squiggly brace, we're going to say the variable and then comma, comma, which as we learned in a previous tutorial, will represent that variable as all lowercase. Uh, so we should be able to save that. And now we can run our script again. And in this case, if I type in Chris with a capital K, it says, hey, buddy. If I type in with a lowercase k, it says, hey, buddy. If I type it in as, oops, Chris, it says, hey, buddy. If I type it again as like that. So as long as it has the letters, it doesn't matter on the k anymore. And mainly because, or completely because, we used a different representation of the same variable. We're just we're checking it instead of against the variable. We're checking it as the variable as all lowercase. And so you'll want to do that for each check you do. Uh, so the same will be true if I type in Jen. If I run it again and type in Jen all lowercase. If I run it again and I type in Jen all uppercase. If I run it again and I type in J E N N like that, it does it lowercase. So, kind of a short tutorial, but just taking some things that we've learned in the past and showing you how if you just take the stuff you know that you've already learned, uh, you can overcome some some issues you may be having. So, that is one way of solving our case sensitiveness issue in this case because you never know what the end user is going to input. They might type their name all lowercase. Uh, they might capitalize it, and you want to make sure that whatever the user inputs, you're going to do your best to predict what they're going to do because you never know what they're going to do, so you want to try to cover all cases. Uh, so that is a quick look at how to check uh, with an if statement if a name or other type of user input equals something regardless of the case of the string that you're checking and the variable that you're checking. So I uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you like these uh, basic tutorials on shell scripts, be sure to like this video so that I know uh, what you guys enjoy the most. If you also enjoy my tutorials, I put out a few every week. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any. Check out my website, filmsbychris.com. It's Chris the K. There should be a link, link in the description. Uh, and that's just one place where I have my videos uh, organized some way. You can pull up random videos. You can also uh, check out my playlist on my YouTube channel. 
because um, I try to group everything into playlists to make it easier for you guys to find stuff, although I have a lot of videos, so it still could be difficult. Um, be sure to come in, join, hang out with us over in the IRC channel. If you go to my website and click on the help button, at, that will bring you to a web interface uh, where you can just hang out with us, me and other viewers. Uh, you can also just use whatever IRC clients you want. We're on Freenode, Pound, Films by Chris. Once again, Chris with a K. And I just hope that you have a great day.